Hello, today's lecture we will start with operator. It is Crodinger. Crodinger's theory. So, the, what is the operation? What is operator? Operator is something that just convert one function to another one. If you assumed it as a machine, then what you take as input will be converted as output which is exactly not the same which is not exactly the same it is different from this as you can see it is f1 and f2 so operator does this work that just convert function 1 to function 2 okay so we will first look momentum operator and with this help, help we will take help of it and we will find a well known operator that is Hamiltonian so let's begin as we know psi xt is what is a e to the power i k x minus omega t so we will partially differentiate this term with x so when we partially differentiate it we will get we can see here x is multiplied with k and when we remove this bracket then it is also multiplied with i so i k and the whole term remains same okay so we can write this as this hmm. now to remove i we will divide it by i and multiply with it um, h bar so <coughs> let's do multiply it what is h bar? h bar is 2 pi by lambda so it will be h bar k psi now this h bar k psi is p psi how? how so let's see we know from de Broglie's theory p is equal to what p is equal to h by lambda so we just divide it by 2 pi and multiply it by 2 pi so what it is it is h bar and what this one it is a ball man k so we can see here the same thing let's shift the mobile now to make the way clear now it's equal to what uh, is equal to p psi uh, so this this whole term is for nine. p x that is for x coordinate nine, as we nine. have taken from uh, right from the beginning uh, it is x so just remove uh, this psi this is our momentum operator so using this we will calculate our Hamiltonian so let's begin it is very much easy now so to start it you must have basic knowledge of what is Hamiltonian so Hamiltonian is what t plus 
V is what is T? T is kinetic and V is potential energy. So when we talk about T, then we can write it as P square by 2M plus B. So this T can be written as in this way. So we know what is V. P can be written as minus I H bar. You may think why I've written in this way. So let me remind you what we got. We get this one. Px is equal to this one. So for the same py, we will get h bar by i del by del y. For the same p z, we will get this one. As we know, blah blah blah, blah blah blah, and blah 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 is what? Nebula. Well known thing. So we can write in this way. If you are an expert in mathematics, then you should not be worried about it. Now, this is all. This is all we have to do. So, now you can see. This term. So we can write it in P in this way. Now, what we are having? We are having P square. So we will just square it. When we square it, I square, you know, root under minus 1 square. So it is minus 1. Simply you can get this. This is all about Hamiltonian and uh, momentum operator. Hope you understand everything. And if you don't, then just comment it and uh, subscribe it.